Hello everybody, it's Caroline. Today's prompt will be number 24, which is the key, tea or coffee and a specimen card. What I have pulled out is a coffee filter and a piece of a coffee filter. And I also have, this is a tag from something that I bought. I can't even tell you what it is anymore because I covered it up. But this is actually the outside of it, but the inside of it is this color and I'm going to use this. I'll probably trim this off and I'm actually, I'm just gonna wing it with you once more. So I pull my stool here and sit down and so what I what I think a specimen card is, I guess has a window here so you can see whatever that particular specimen is. And I do have, I'm going to reach over on my little bulletin board here. I have flowers that I have dried. They're from our walks. They're from my gardens. There's some seed pods and whatnot, so I'm going to use one of these um, as my specimen. So it'll be a floral. Oh, I think it worked. I think I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I know what it is. It's the sticker. It is the sticker. There it is. Better put that back. All right. I scored it, but I think you can see I went a little bit too hard and plus the paint on here has made it dry so I think what I'll do is I'll just remove this yeah you know I'll wait because we'll see what happens here might as well just wait I can always do it at the last minute I'm going to use some packaging here up like that I'm not sure if I'm going to use it like that that'll that'll fit that way this is the first time I've made one of these so I really I really am just uh, going for it. Okay, let's see what that does. I sewed it around. 
And I do like the look of that. This is the back side. What I'm going to do is go in my journal, which is over here. I'm going to, now that I have my page opened up, I will use this coffee filter on it, and that'll be my coffee portion. Or, oh, I have another idea. Got my flow journal out. I remember I did coffee stain some of these index cards. So I'll pull that out. The other thing I have here is some graph paper. So I have these elements now as my backing and I'll figure out how I'm going to put these on. I'm thinking out loud while I do this. You never know how a page is going to come together. I never know how a page is going to come together. So what I need to do, because this journal will not be available to me at all, to, well, it will be, but it won't be open, is I need to make some staples. This is a great, I think a great added tip. Just have something around here, a booklet or something with, with staples that you can use as a tool and then go over and make some marks like that. Make just gives an imprint, which I think is so cool. My decision is to glue this on the bottom part of my page. I was going to leave it as a pocket, but decided not to because I have writing space here. This is a flip. I can tuck something in here if I want to. I think there's going to be more than enough to document for me for this for right now. But I suppose if you are making this for someone or if you wanted to, you could definitely turn it into a pocket. The other thing I was going to do, and I still might, I was going to leave this Uh, as a just let it stick out like that I might just I don't know if I'm going to I still have to I'll, I'll leave it there for now don't need that anymore I don't need this card I can write in there. I'm just going to decide what else. I think I'll take some more flowers though from my baggie, my bag. This is just those violets. I can't remember now, it's been a while. If I had a specimen card, I could have used it. <laughs> oh, so pretty though. I love the colors, love the way they they really tamed down. There's something else in this that I didn't take out and I can't. I don't know what it is. Let's see. I might take some keys from the maple tree. Seeds. We used to call them keys. I don't know if that's what they're still called. And then I can make a collage over here. Just glue those down.
which side here? Yeah, this side. Oh, very, 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 very brittle, fragile. Little top coat. Why not? See if it stays glossy. I'm not sure if it does. As it dries, it'll probably, it might mat down a bit. Let's see. That'll definitely help it stick also. Maybe this over here. Like a little wishbone. <laughs> Yes, I think I will put it, uh, I'll put it here. Hopefully I get it on the, on the lines properly. Uh-oh. That's okay. There's a coffee cup mark here, and that'll be fine. It's a little bit of a close up here. Not bad. You can see that in the background. My, oh yeah, there's a bit of, there is a sheen on there. I do like that. And here, I can always just cut this out and glue it on there so that it's, since I made a slip of the, I was thinking to myself, don't slip up, and that's exactly what I did. So nothing says I can't. Put this on like that. Yeah, sure. It's exactly what I'll do. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it the way it is because I do like, I like the, the splats there. That can be used at another time somewhere else. And I'll put the date, I will fill this in right now. The date was, this was picked right before we moved. So that was picked in, I'll say... Um, August. August. I don't know the date, so we'll put 2019. Wild Rose.
many other species. Great. I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything on that edge. I've got my perfectly imperfect cutout from a magazine. So I will use this and I'm going to, lots of brown going on, but I'm going to edge it with this. And I will write, this will be specimen Specimen number twenty four because it's day twenty four. And if I wanted to, I could journal back here and I can. Don't ask me why I'm doing this. I just feel like it. Doodle doodle. Perhaps the bio, uh, biologist was doodling with their coffee. There. I'll do a quick recap. Today's prompt, specimen card and coffee or tea. So I chose to use a piece of, this was an, a piece of uh, card from a garment and I cut the middle out, put my wild rose and that I, that I picked and dried, put it uh, in here in the cellophane that was also packaging, sewed around it and this had already been this card, I already had colored it, did some paint on there, not knowing what it was going to be, but just putting it in my, my stash. Then I took this index card that I had splattered with coffee and did a ring. I also did some little bit of distressing with some staples on the page. Took a coffee or tea dyed uh, graph paper coffee filter, some more wild flowers, maple tree seeds, and an um, information stamp. <clears throat> and I just totally, totally blotched up this number 24, and I'll fix that up. So number 24 is today's prompt. I can't believe I did that, <laughs> so I'm going to have to fix it before I let you go. I'm 
just because that's going to can't believe I did that we'll fix that up right now I should know that that pen needs to dry unless it's just on paper Hey, I feel better now. And you're right along with me as I make these mistakes. Number 24. I'm going to grab my pen and go to the back. The prompt list. One more to do. And here we are. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your kind comments. Don't forget to subscribe and ask me any questions you'd like. I'd love to uh, have a chat. Thanks again. Bye for now.